Customizing a template in LucidPress is easy, and it will save you time by guiding you in the design process. Click on the green drop-down arrow next to the document button to explore and preview all the templates that are available to you. Once you find the one you like, click on the template to start editing. I'm going to start with a Cobalt Cafe poster. Start by naming your document in the top left corner. I'll name this one Lucid Press New Office. Now let's start editing our document. To edit text, click on a text box and begin typing. In the context pane, navigate to the text tab. Here we can find our brand assets including paragraph styles, fonts, and colors. You'll notice that the brand assets are located at the top of each dropdown in a separate section. I'm going to change the heading to match our brand font and colors. Then I'll edit the subheading using our brand font and another brand color. For the rest of the text, I'm going to select each text box and adjust the font to match our brand fonts. I'll fill in the content later. This template is actually pretty close to my brand colors, but I want to be precise. So I'll click on each shape and select a fill color from the brand colors. I'm going to change the black background, the white overlay, and the blue shape behind the body of text. There, that looks better. Finally, we can replace the template images with our own images. Double click on an image to open the image manager. Then select the desired image. I'll replace this image with the Lucid logo from my brand images. To remove the border, click on the image and select Transparent in the Border Fill option, or set the pixel size to zero. You can also find these settings in the Properties bar along the top. To adjust the border, click on the image and change the settings as desired. For this image, I want to include a photo from the day we moved into our new office, so I'm going to upload an image from my computer. Double-click the image, then click the blue Upload button in the top right corner, and choose the file type. You can upload individual images, a folder, or SVG files. I'll upload a folder in order to keep my images organized. Then I'll select the image I want to use here. With the folder uploaded, it's easy to replace the rest of my images. I'll double click each one and select an image from the new office folder. To adjust the image, click Crop in the context pane to open the cropping and masking options. The mask position and size refers to the visible window, and the image position and size refers to the whole image. You can make adjustments by clicking and dragging, or by adjusting the numbers on the right. To cancel your changes, press Escape. When you're finished editing your image, press Enter to confirm your changes. The last thing to do is to enter content of my flyer, and then I'm finished. It's as easy as that. Using a template can help you quickly make material that is both professional and consistent with your brand. Take a look at our tutorial on locking to learn more about how you can utilize your time in LucidPress.